Hey guys, before I start the Britlane vlog, um, I'm going to do a little quick um, video on these new fixed bricks Richard sent me. He sent me, no, sent me them a while ago. Um, I made a video on them, but I wasn't happy with it. And plus, I got my new upgrade in quality, my GoPro. So I wanted to um, highlight a few things on them. And I wanted to redo it in uh, in top quality because I'm really excited for all the new new videos I can make, uh, just up in the quality. Um, so yeah, not just obviously brick laying as well. I've got the garden project I'm on with, um, future extension I want to do as well. So if you know if the climate stays how it is with brick laying and well, if I just carry on going as I'm going, you know, I'll be. Uh, I'll be not far away from, uh, you know, being able to undertake something like that. So we just need to keep throwing in a throwing in a thousand bricks a day, don't we? Um, but yeah, right. Check out, check it out. So what you're looking at here is the new Fitz bricks, the new penny clamp Fitz brick. I'm just using a penny to, ta uh, you know, to show you it can be used with a penny. But um, when you're on site, a slip tie is probably more readily available. Um, so yeah, this is the block slave flat, flat or brick on edge 215 um, modification uh, and this is the 140 or 6 inch block uh, you know modification there uh, for the 140s so I'll show you how to uh, I'll put this aside and I'll show you how to uh, turn this back into a normal fit brick so first of all we we'll just set the spring off and we'll just move away uh, the left part of the fitz brick. We'll just quickly loosen these um, two little penny clamps. You don't need to take them out, and we'll push this little piece here, this little spring guide, right back, and that is back to the original 100 mil fitz brick, which this new uh, iteration or Mark II is basically three fitz bricks in one. So move that back there. So we're now left with the original 100 mil fits brick, which is what I use more or less every day. So we'll now take this and turn it into a 140 or a six inch, and we'll turn it into a block slave flat or a brick and edge modification. So take the spring off once again, slide the spring out of the way, and we're gonna loosen both of these penny clamps. They don't have to be mega loose. And then we're going to take the spring guide, which is flush with the right hand part of the fit brick, and we're just going to move that away 20 mil. So that's about 20 mil in my eyes. And then we're going to tighten these back up. You can finger tighten them um, because they've got a little nail on, but you want to really crank them, really crank them so they're solid. Um, you can, if you really want to set them so you don't want to really ever change them again, which I don't know why you would, you can use a, you can use a slip tie and they'll be set at this 140 if you want to you know, buy a set and leave them at the 140 set up and then buy another set and have them at 100 mil if you really want to be super optimal. Um, you can, but they're so easy to change. I don't know why you would. So this is set up at 140, um, what I'll be using in this video. And then we'll take this off. So for the 225 or 215 or block laid flat brick on edge variant, you've only got to take out this left hand screw. So you've got to just loosen the right hand Loosen it with a penny. Loosen the left hand side. And the left hand side is the only part, the only one that's coming out for a moment. We check that out and we just move our fit brick all the way along and we tighten up the right hand side. Put the left hand side back in. There we go. We just clamp them up with a penny clamp. Penny nicely in tight. Then we slide our fit brick back. Back to the spring guide and away you go so i can do that again for you if you want so same again spring guide off just a little bit so you can see how easy it is left side off reverse it so we'll put it back 20 mil away from the left side from the right side of the fit brick penny clamp back in Same here, that back in.
spring back on, we're back at the 140s, and then back to 100. Silas fits brick out again, loosen both the penny clamps, and then we'll slide that back too, tighten them back up. We're back at 100 mil fit brick there, so that's you know how easy it can be done. Um, you know, if you're doing it on site, just rest it on a block and do it. So you don't want to be holding it up here doing it. You know, that's fiddly. Uh, but yeah, hope that helped. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, so it's uh, Thursday, five to four. Yeah, doing hot today. On block, we're on heavy blocks all day. Uh, about 240 in. I had to get some 140s in for the middle walls, so we're not running out of 4 inch and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we've got. Uh, that's what we got done. So I built all four corners today freehand, uh, as you can see, and I just ran that in. Uh, back wall up, the ties in, got that uh, part way up. And I've probably got enough blocks to just get this up sort of maybe eight and then just enough to finish this little pillar this is only like a two block one and a half block pillar so I'm gonna get, get that up nine tomorrow do the brick obviously he's got scaffolds already up like I'll just work under the scaffolds a little bit of messing about tomorrow and then bang this fucking six inch middle wall in so right so um let's turn this music down a bit it's Friday now and uh, we've run out of four inch blocks more or less. We're just doing this uh, 140 block wall. Uh, using the new fixed bricks, but um, you'll be seeing this on the fixed brick video instead of the vlog. Uh, just because I want to make it a separate video. Uh, but yeah, I'll get some bit of uh, time lapse. And yeah, in a bit. So yeah, these are the 140s, 140 fixed bricks. Tightened with a slip tie. Um, yeah, I should get some footage laying them in a bit, but I don't know if I could be bothered today. But they work fantastic. Uh, yeah. Alright, see you in So, the yeah, time. that's the new Penny Clamp Fitz Bricks, you know, made in the UK. Always good to support a tool that's made of here in Great Britain. It's, you know, very rare in this day and age now with every, all, a lot of companies, you know, using, you know, cheap Chinese knockoffs, you know, getting everything made in China because it's cheaper, you know. Um, I know for a lot of people, they'll have a look at the price of the new Fritz Bricks and think, you know, oh, that's a little bit expensive, but it's a tool that's going to absolutely make its money back in a day easily. You know, I've if you watched last video, I show a prime example using the Fritz Bricks to just put the line up really quick when you've got profiles and a corner set up, and that was saving me, you know, five or six bricks, at least five bricks I could have laid uh, if I'd have not had it. So if I'd have not had it, I'd have had to walk to the other side of the line, lift the corner block up, walk back, pick my trowel up, and those five bricks, you know, that's say 70p a brick, five sevens, £3.50, times that by 20 course, doing that all day, you know, where, uh, you know, that's paid for, that's 70 quid you could have made, unless you tax, etc. You know, you've paid for a pair of, you know, it's paid for it, send right there and then in just one day building on either a gable or a house or whatever i'm on a garage in this instance just a small little investment um with these with these fixed bricks and you you know you're making your life easier and you're making yourself a bit of money because there's just so many little versatile uses for them um richard haven't asked me to make any of these videos or say any of these things about the uh, fixed bricks i'm just you know when i see a good tool that's making me money every day and it's been making me money for the best part of over a year, you know, 15, 16 months I've had them. You know, it's it's been making me money ever since I picked them up. And, uh, you know, I just want to let everyone know that they're a quality piece of kit. Um, but, yeah, uh, obviously this is a voiceover part of the video. I, I don't do many these days because I sort of tend to do the live voiceovers on the, on the new headcam. But uh, I'm just doing a few corners today uh, obviously using the heavy blocks i've not had much use for the two other modifications of the new fits brick because as you know i'm mainly just using 100 mil blocks 100 mil bricks but as soon as i was told we were using 140s i broke these bit you know broke the uh 
the uh, the new penny clamp fits bricks out uh, straight away because I've been trying to I've been trying to get them out of my other pairs the, my other pairs I've got because you know they they really do last uh, you know stand the test of time I've st stood on mine I've okay, you know I've lobbed them in the box you know uh, you know I c and they just still work perfectly I just put some oil on them the other day and they were just working just as good as the day I got them so you know they really do stand the test of time and it's a small price to pay really for how much money it'll make you um just with ease of use you won't believe how many times i banged a pin in it's fell out full that flew down the scaffold and you know you don't realize until you start using these more efficient methods with the you know with these new innovative tools that how wrong you were doing it really and this is this proves it true with pick and dip profiles fits bricks you use them all in conjunction you're going to be making some some uh, serious money a lot quicker a lot faster a lot more accurate you know that's all what what i'm about on this channel which um you know you know people don't like to they don't like to change the ways you know but i have been dedicated to trying to use more profiles obviously you, you see me building corners here but i could have easily set up a t clamp intermediate aluminium profile with uh with uh, a Tory block on I'm not had to build this corner but I was just literally showing just doing this for the YouTube really showing you guys how easy it is um, to build a corner with these uh, and you know sometimes when it's hot as well when I've only got you know I only want to put two one or two boards out because the motor will go off uh, really quick sometimes it's nice to just get uh, build a corner and I had Dean filming me labourer so because a lot of the time I don't get him involved in the videos you know he's not interested uh, and being on camera and you know it's not something that my channel's about you know it's the after eight bricklayer it's not the after eight and friends <laughs> you know as some channels are these days but um it's uh yeah so i get a little bit of corner for you so i've got another corner i'm building after this and uh, i've got a time lapse coming up so you can see me using them but the bang on you can clamp them fits bricks on a 140 on half a 140 block and the one thing i like about them is when you set your middle walls out uh which this 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 works for any any wall you use with a fits brick so when you're setting out say this middle wall and you measure at one side of your block to find you know your center uh, or measure your, or find your center and set your your first block to it you aren't gonna you, you can just clamp your fits brick right where that where that where that measurement is you've put to and then you do it the other end you can line that block up nice and square you don't have to measure you know 450 out to just check the box nice and square you, the fits brick does it all for you so i'll explain that later on in some other videos when i'm using them um i try to you now i've got the, the good audio on the head cam i try to uh, throw in on the job tips as i'm doing them so you can see um but yeah so also that if you can see me there using the two foot level um two foot level really underutilized a lot of brick layers a lot of old guys are like, oh, you shouldn't use a two foot level. It gives a different reading to a, a four foot. But, you know, until you get higher than two feet, you should be using a two foot level. It's just easier. You pick one up. Um, great for, you know, leveling little pillars, uh, for setting your first block on a corner so you can run, a, you know, you're running pretty much level from that first block. You know, it's something that you can learn to do iron blocks down, iron blocks level, iron blocks plumb. All helps, you know, f you know, freehand is good um you know but obviously profiles are faster but it's good to know both you know because there's not always a time you can get a profile on and like for myself i find corner building enjoyable so if i'm not on a particular day trying to smash loads of work normally when it's hot normally when i'm not feeling 100 percent up to it obviously like if i ain't got enough sleep or whatnot with the young um i'll set up building some corners you know this corner took me like eight minutes to build you know and then i'm running in from there but um you know, it's not always a bad thing, you know, I always say, you know, don't use profiles as a, cr a crutch, use it as, you know, a speed tool, but it's always good to know both. Um, also, I've got a Euro setup, Euro uh, mortar tub setup for the little trowel. Um, it's not not often you see anyone you working out of tubs on YouTube, but I'm going to show you a technique I've been using for a while, working out of tubs. I work out of tubs quite a bit um, when, I, when I was doing remedials or I'm doing little bits of... Uh, beam filling and whatnot i just really ain't got any footage of me using it um but i've got a tub set up me and dean tried it about eight months ago when he first started working with me back in 2021 
uh, and I'm revisiting the uh, working out tubs because the motor we're using on this, uh, not this site, but the other site we're normally at, the other Gleason site, the motor dies straight away on the boards. It's just, you know, it stays, it stays all right in the tub for a couple hours, but on the boards you can get it out straight away and it's dead, especially with this heat wave coming up. Working out of tubs is really advantageous, but you're limited because you need a little trowel. So if you've got a towel set laying about, or if you've got an extra 30 quid laying about, you know, go pick one of them tile setters up and I'm going to show you in the next coming videos how, how I use um, and how I go about loading up motor tubs when I'm working out of tubs. A lot of guys in America, a lot of guys in, in Europe and places like that in Australia where it's hotter all work out of tubs, you know, it's just something that was in the UK and hasn't been really popularised on YouTube too much. I know Charlie Collison did a bit of working out of tubs, but, um, you know, I think there's one video out of however many videos he's got, so people can easily miss it. And, uh, yeah, I, I want I want to show, that you know, enlighten people a bit more using tubs because it's not always something that's quite obvious how to use, you know. I've used them, um, you know, a few times. There is a technique to use to, you know, working out of tubs. Uh if you've watched a lot of uh, the Belgian brick, he, he sort of, uh, even though he's not just exclusively a bricklayer, he seems to be able to do everything. But, you know, he works out tubs and uh, I'll show you my little, my little UK spin on it. So, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, uh, check the description. I've left a little link about the Fritz Bricks where you can get them. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next one. There you are, it's out to the corner. It's about fucking eight minutes. It's a nine minute clip in it. Eight forty. Beautiful. Don't believe in bricklaying, you know, when you try to film shit, if you're actually laying the wrong way, you can't see fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. It's annoying, actually. I'm just stuck the wrong way, so you can't see it. I'm just stuck the wrong way, so you can't see it.
Right, it's 3 o'clock on Friday, well 10 to 3. Uh, they closed job at 3 on Friday, so not ideal, like I've had to rush and whatnot. I had a chance to clean garage out or out, but it's more or less up. Middle walls in, uh, all outside walls are in bar this one. Uh, and just brickwork next week. Thanks for watching. Well, uh, we've got a front wheel pillar to do as well. That's up in block, just bad time. But yeah, right, see you next week. Right, come on, back to bed. Got a thousand bricks to lay tomorrow, Arch. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder why I don't get there right early. Probably give three more. Right, fully four probably now. Four hours. Yeah, so uh, it's a good job it's uh, Saturday morning, but um, yeah, it's sort of regular this, you know, that's why I'm after eight. I just adapted over the years of, of you know, living like this, uh, with him not sleeping all the time. You know, I've been off a good night, but most of the time like this. So, you can still get after it, uh, some money on price, even if you sort of want to sleep some days or you sleep patterns are a bit all over. Uh, it's just it's what it is. It's what it is. Uh. But yeah, you can still, you know, people you can quick to judge in the comments. Fucking leave you and say, no, oh, why do you get there late and whatnot? But it's what it is, you know. Still getting it done. Still doing, uh, I got my head in my hands going, oh, I can't look on price, I'm to knacker, you know. Anyway, see you in the next one. Peace.